Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah ve salatu ve selamu ala Resulullah ve alihi ve sahbihi ve sellem ecma'in. Allahümme enfa'ni bima allemteni ve allemni bima yenfa'ni ve zidni ilmen. İnneke entel alimul hakim. My topic today is about introduction to the renal CT scan protocol. Here we have some indication for renal CT scan, suspected renal calculus, suspected renal infection, rule out mass, differentiation between mass cyst and the tumor, staging renal cancer, evaluate patient with hematuria, evaluate patient with trauma, suspected renal artery stenosis, and suspected renal vein thrombosis. How to prepare the patient? Patient should be fasting four hours prior to the examination, and we have recent lab result of the creatinine level. And we should have a good history to tailor the scan protocol and for the benefit of the examination. Some Condition should be taken in consideration. Patient has renal disease and renal failure, diabetes mellitus, dehydration, cardiovascular disease, and diuretics. Patient 75 years age or above. Patient with multiple myeloma, hypertension, and urea and sickle cell anemia. Scanning phases for renal CT scan, we have a pre-contrast or non-contrast phase. We have the arterial phase. We have the corticomedullary phase, nephrographic phase, and executory phase. The non-contrast scan of unenhanced KUB, it is a baseline study for measuring of the renal masses, renal cyst, also used for detection of uh, calculi in the kidney ureters and other calcification, and it is also used for patient to localize the kidney. And it is also used for detection of the hyperdensity renal cyst. Here, this is a CT scan with non-contrast injection, unenhanced KUB, CT KUB. You see the kidneys with no, no stones or any calcification noted. Here you see the left renal vein. It is under the aorta, posterior to the aorta, and it is called retroaortic renal vein. Here is another patient with non-contrast CT scan, normal kidneys, and this is coronary reconstruction study. Here this is a patient with high dense renal stones. 99% of stones are appear on CT scan as a high dense stone. Arterial phase, it is a short phase. It is started 15 to 25 seconds after in intravenous injection of the contrast material, and it is used for the uh, evaluation of renal artery in suspected patient with renal artery stenosis. The renal veins, it will be seen in the late arterial phase. Corticomedullary phase. This is a start in 30 to 40 seconds after the injection of the contrast material. And this, there is intense enhancement of the renal cortex. And here the medulla is remain not enhanced. And this is a best phase for the opacification of the renal veins. And here you see the Cortex is intensely enhanced and the high dense area, these are the medulla, it are not enhanced. Here you see the 
black about the renal artery and the white about the renal vein, it is virtual aortic. No full graphic phase, it is started uh, about 60 to 140 to, to 120 second after starting the injection and there is tubular filtration of the contrast material produce homogeneous enhancement of the renal parenchyma and this phase it is good for detection of renal parenchyma lesion like myelonephritis, tumor characterized lesion density perfusion changes also for renal vein uh, or IVC thrombus. Here you see intense enhancement of the uh, renal parenchyma with contrast and the uh, cortex and the uh, medulla are intensely enhanced. And here you see again the ren left renal vein under the, the water, posterior to the water. Here there is a defect in the nephrographic phase due to cyst. Excavatory phase or urographic phase, it is started at 180 seconds or, or three minutes after injection of the contrast. And with this phase, we see contrast material filling the calyces, renal pelvis, and ureters. And uh, we usually obtain the obtain this phase about five minutes after the injection of the contrast material. And here you see there is nephrographic, uh, there is a contrast excretion in renal calyces and renal pelvis bilaterally. Excretory phase, it is good for detection pathology in the renal pelvis or collecting system also can visualize the renal parenchyma and pathology of the ureters. It is used for evaluation patient with hematuria, either macroscopically or microscopically, a patient suspected with the transitional cell carcinoma and recurrent UTI congenital anomaly and renal trauma. Here you see CT urogram. This is visualization of the renal calyces, renal pelvis, ureters, and ureters and urinary bladder. There is a technique, it is called split bolus technique for CT urography. And this, we do non contrast study for the kidneys to the urinary bladder, and then we inject 50 cc of contrast material and wait for five minutes then we inject about 80 cc of contrast material and we rescan the patient after 100 second from the second injection injection from the above the kidney to the base of the urinary bladder and with this we combine the nephrographic phase and the executory phase of the of the contrast material at the same time. As we hear we, we see the contrast in the nephrographic phase in both in both kidneys and there is contrast in the renal pelvis and renal calyces. And it is good for detection of the renal tumors like transitional cell carcinoma and decrease radiation dose to the patient. Thank you very much for and helping. Thank you very much and hoping to see you again soon.